Okay, Capcom presents. Well, I'm so, oh, I'm freaking excited, my guy. Nintendo Switch, bro. Oh shit. <laughs> what is that? It looks so clean. I can see. I can see clearly now. Ten. That's definitely 1080p. Well, you guys are probably seeing 720p when I render it, but yeah, you know. <sighs> Monster Hunter X Switch. You guys don't actually know. Like, it's been so long since I've like played Monster Hunter. I just, I just been getting so tired of playing it on on the 3DS. Last time I played it was probably Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Like seriously. Like I've had um I think four, but I didn't even like touch it that much. So I'm pretty much starting fresh when it comes to this one. I'm seeing what the hell is that? that I oh it's so clear. Ooh We Lego this Yo Oh yes. Wait, X3. What was that mean? Oh, so you could probably transfer your like save data to the Switch if you have it for the 3DS. Uh, that's that's cool. Not really needed. Wait, hold up. There's an arrow going back. Oh, you could probably put your Switch saves if you have the Switch version onto 3D. Okay. Why would you need that though? The Switch is portable. Alright, <laughs> we ain't knocking it. Ah, get the boys together and play. Yo, what is that? You're gonna be hearing me saying that a lot. Ah, I cut myself off. Wait, you can play with 3DS niggas? Excuse my language? Yes! Yes! Oh, I'm ready. I need this. <laughs> it's been so fucking long. What the fuck is that? Monster Hunter Double Cross. Okay, it's time to come back. It's time. August 25th? And the Switch is region free? Sign me the fuck up. So that was Monster Hunter Double Cross's Switch trailer. And it looks pretty damn phenomenal. But that's not all that they showed on the game. So there was an event where they showed this trailer, but they also showed that there's going to be a new Switch console, like a custom one, with some cool Monster Hunter decal. Let me just say that is going to sell out in fractions of a second. If the Switch sold out in minutes in Japan, we're not even going to get the chance to even look at that here in the States, like bruh. But from what we've seen, it looks pretty cool, got some cool little decals. Apparently they're not finished with like the back of the, the Switch console itself, like the tablet part. There's going to be a design on that, so they're going to have some of that and they're going to release what that looks like on a later date. But overall, that looks pretty clean. I'm going to try to get one, but I know I'm not. Other than that, not much else was really shown, except, you know, the Japanese release date, which is August 25th. And, well, the Switch is region free, so we about to get in that. It's just... I wonder if they're going to implement some kind of multi-language support. If anything, we'll probably hear about that at E3. Because this was a Japanese focus event for like a Monster Hunter Championship or something. So I doubt they would even consider showing that there. Especially since uh, Monster Hunter is not as big here in the States as it is over there in Japan. But dang, it's time. It's time for me to come back to Monster Hunter. And I think that's pretty much all I've got to really say. Would you guys probably want to be see some Monster Hunter streams when this game does come out? I've been thinking a lot about getting back into streaming, so I might do that. I don't know. Possibly. Maybe. But it's been real. It's your boy Eiji. Just wanted to get my quick thoughts and uh, reaction out on this whole Monster Hunter thing. It's been years, so I'm kind of lost on what's happening there with some of those cool moves and monsters. But I'm ready to dive right back in. And I'll catch you guys in the next one, so stay to them. It's kind of late, so I might sound tired. Yeah. Bye. Hey, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you look right above me, you can see two of my previous videos. So, if you feel like supporting your boy, feel free to check them out. It's okay. Take your time. I'll just be right here when you're ready to watch them.